so we are discussing about the browser admin panel so we have discussed about the lots of things like the installation configuration and the features of Voyager that is media manager menu builder database manager and braid operation so today we are going to discuss about the settings section so what is the settings so if we just go inside the left panel and just here you can see the settings okay so this is the pretty cool things so we can add your site title site description site logos from here suppose if you just add a site title suppose my site title that is awesome admin panel right and let's if you want to see from your front end so if you just go here and let's here we want to see this text that is the site title so just click on the save settings and if you just want to see here you can just go to the route section so here you can see inside the web.php this is calling the view that is the welcome view so directly just go to the resource views and welcome blade.php and just go to the section where i want to add this so simply here i just want to add the before documentation section so simply search document right so this is the documentation section and here i just want to add these things so simply just right here and create h1 tag and close the tag and here we have uh, this suggestion that is settings site title so just use this so just like menu we have created inside your menu builder section just use these settings so simply just write this okay and let's refresh this front end so just refresh this so here you can see the awesome admin panel simply if you just want to add a image that is uh, to add a site logo simply suppose i am using the youtube logo here and just save this and let's use this so we to use this settings site logo so simply just go to the visual studio code and simply here i just want to add the logo so to use the logo we have to use the image tag and inside the image we will add the src and we will call a helper so inside the helper we will call this so simply just write the syntax so voyager colon image okay and inside the image just put these things so settings site logo so if we just refresh this we can see the logo so it's little big because we have not used the proper things so if we just use simple small logo we can use this so you can search from the net and now the next things if i just want to add the description we can add the description from here also and if you just want to add the custom field suppose i have to create a new name that is suppose description and the next thing is description so that is the key by this key we will call this actually description and the type is suppose text box and the group will have a default site and admin group and if you want to you can create your group that is i want to add the general group so it will use for all purpose and add new settings and the site key description already exists so actually these are exist so simply just write here description that is the name and key suppose write here content okay and choose type that is the text box and same way just add the general so general okay so site key always will be unique because we will use this site key to display the records so add new settings and the now the setting created successfully and to use the settings scroll down we are getting the new section status it is a setting site content so just copy this and just paste it here so just i'm removing image that is large it's looking not good that's the reason i'm removing this 
and just use a p tag and inside the p tag will display the description section right so simply here right the settings site content okay cool so if you just refresh this front end you can see the awesome admin panel but we have not added anything here that's the reason it's not appearing anything so just add some description here suppose this is simple site description okay and let's add save setting and just refresh this so this is simple site description so basically this is the settings things and you can have google analytics code to display your google analytics and all those things we are getting right so you can check this so i will recommend please check the official documentation and please comment if you have any queries about this video so if you want to add any others we can add from here and from there we can create our custom fields and we can add into the settings so basically in this way we can manage the settings part into the voice alarm application and the next video i will going to show you the role permissions so here is the roles and we have some roles already created and we can create roles and we can create permission for that roles so next video i will going to show this so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye